It feels like being on another planet, a barren, hostile and frigid world. But this is Scott Island, just off Antarctica. It's not much bigger than a football pitch and has no obvious signs of life, but it's still of scientific interest. I'm taking samples of fresh snow to see if organisms have been transported here by the snow. Then I'll remove the top layer of snow and sample what is underneath to see which organisms are living here. The island's average summer temperature is zero degrees Celsius. In winter, it's minus 40. This is only known because an automated weather station once operated here. It's little more than a rock in one of the most inhospitable places on the planet. But here on Scott Island, near Antarctica, there is life. And the samples the scientists are taking, they hope, will give them an insight into how climate change is affecting this part of the world. The island is too windswept for seabirds to nest. But in the crevices of its volcanic rocks, there is life. Hopefully with the moss and the soil we're going to find invertebrates in that and uh, it gives us an idea of how the animals have coped through not only uh, I guess climate change in the past uh, which is mostly natural but also how they may move and adapt. In pursuit of further samples the ship sails on east crossing the Ross Sea. This part of the coast is usually blocked by sea ice but for now it's clear giving the team access to an area that is seldom visited. They take moss and lichen samples, and back on board the ship, there's a discovery made in the lichen. Smaller than a pinhead, this is the first time this mite has been found here, and DNA testing is likely to confirm that it's a previously undiscovered species. The landscape here is incredibly old, so it, you know, it probably started off 180 million years ago. It would have been a tropical rainforest, and it now looks like it does outside. And so these are some of the few things that have probably managed to hang on that long. And so now they're some of the most successful organisms that, that live here. Moss samples are dried and later spun in a centrifuge to see if any other living organisms are inside. Samples like this are the first of their kind. Their significance is yet to be determined, but for now, their beauty is clear. Tarek Basley, Al Jazeera, Scott Island off Antarctica.